Hey guys, Dr. Mike here. Today we're diving deep into the world of natural remedies and exploring some fascinating alternatives to metformin for lowering blood sugar. Whether you're pre-diabetic, diabetic, or simply health conscious, this video is packed with information you won't want to miss. Now, I know many of you are familiar with metformin. It's often the first medication prescribed for high blood sugar, and for good reason. It's effective and affordable. But as with any medication, it can come with side effects. Some people experience digestive issues, while others might have concerns about long-term use. That's why we're exploring the world of natural alternatives. We'll be looking at herbs and supplements that have shown promise in helping to manage blood sugar levels naturally. Remember, it's crucial to consult with your doctor before making any changes to your health regimen, especially if you're currently on medication. First up, we have berberine. Now, berberine isn't as well known as metformin, but it's been gaining popularity in the natural health world and for good reason. This golden yellow alkaloid derived from various plants like golden seal, barberry, and Oregon grape has a rich history and a promising future. This plant alkaloid has been used in traditional Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine for centuries. In these ancient practices, berberine was often employed to treat a variety of ailments, from digestive issues to infections. What's really interesting is that berberine seems to work in some of the same ways as metformin. Both substances have been shown to activate an enzyme called AMPK, which plays a crucial role in regulating metabolism. Imagine this, you eat a meal, your blood sugar starts to rise, and then berberine steps in like a traffic controller, helping to slow down the release of glucose into your bloodstream. This action helps to prevent those dreaded blood sugar spikes that can lead to energy crashes and cravings. Pretty cool, right? But there's more to this story. Berberine also helps your cells become more sensitive to insulin, which is like giving your body's natural sugar-regulating system a boost. This increased sensitivity means your body can use insulin more effectively, helping to keep your blood sugar levels stable. And here's the kicker, berberine doesn't stop there. It's also been linked to lower cholesterol and blood pressure levels. Studies have shown that berberine can reduce LDL cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol, and increase HDL cholesterol, the good kind. Talk about a triple threat, lower blood sugar, improved insulin sensitivity, and better cholesterol levels. It's no wonder people are calling berberine the metformin mimic. So how do you incorporate berberine into your routine? It's actually quite simple. Well, the typical dosage is 500 milligrams taken two to three times a day with meals. This helps to ensure that berberine is present in your system when you need it most, right after eating. This way you're catching those post-meal blood sugar spikes right at their source. Consistency is key here, so make sure to take it regularly to see the best results. Now I know what you're thinking. Dr. Mike, this all sounds great, but are there any side effects? It's a valid concern, especially when adding something new to your health regimen. And that's the right question to ask. While berberine is generally considered safe, it's important to be aware of how it might affect you personally. Like any supplement, berberine can have potential side effects, although they're usually mild. Some people might experience some digestive discomfort, like bloating or diarrhea, especially when they first start taking it. Some people might experience some digestive discomfort, like bloating or diarrhea, especially when they first start taking it. This is often due to the body's adjustment to the new supplement, the key is to start low and go slow. Begin with a smaller dose and gradually increase it to see how your body reacts. This approach can help minimize any potential side effects and allow your body to adapt more smoothly. Begin with a smaller dose and gradually increase it to see how your body reacts. This method not only helps in reducing side effects, but also allows you to find the optimal dose that works best for you. And of course, always, always, always consult with your doctor before adding any new supplement to your routine especially if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, or have any underlying health conditions. Your healthcare provider can offer personalized advice and ensure that berberine is a safe and effective choice for you. Next on our list of natural blood sugar regulators is a spice you might already have in your pantry fenugreek. This humble seed has been a staple in various cuisines and traditional medicine practices for centuries. Yep. That fragrant spice often found in Indian cuisine isn't just for flavor. It's got some serious health benefits too. Fenugreek is not only a culinary delight, but also a powerhouse of nutrients and medicinal properties. Fenugreek seeds in particular have been used for centuries in traditional medicine to help manage blood sugar levels. Ancient healers recognized its potential long before modern science caught up. So how does it work? Well, 
Fenugreek seeds are packed with fiber, and we all know fiber is our friend, especially when it comes to blood sugar control. The high fiber content in fenugreek helps in slowing down the absorption of carbohydrates in the intestines. Fiber slows down digestion and helps prevent those rapid spikes in blood sugar after meals. This means a more gradual release of glucose into the bloodstream, which is crucial for maintaining stable blood sugar levels. But fenugreek goes beyond just being a good source of fiber. It's a multifaceted spice with a range of benefits. It actually contains compounds that can help improve insulin sensitivity. These compounds work at a cellular level to enhance the body's ability to use insulin effectively. Think of it like this. Insulin is like a key that unlocks your cells to let glucose in. When insulin sensitivity is improved, it means your body can use glucose more efficiently, reducing the risk of high blood sugar levels. Fenugreek is like giving those keys a little lubrication, helping them work smoother and more efficiently. This can be particularly beneficial for people with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. The recommended dosage for fenugreek seed powder is usually around 5 grams twice daily, taken before meals. This dosage has been found to be effective in numerous studies. You can easily mix it into water, yogurt, or a smoothie. This makes it convenient to incorporate into your daily routine without much hassle. And the best part, it actually has a slightly sweet and nutty flavor that many people enjoy. This makes it a pleasant addition to various dishes and beverages. But remember, even though fenugreek is a natural spice, it's still important to talk to your doctor before adding it to your regimen, especially if you're on any medications. Your healthcare provider can help you determine the right dosage and ensure it won't interact with any of your current treatments. So next time you're looking to spice up your meals, consider adding a dash of fenugreek. Not only will it enhance the flavor, but it could also provide a natural boost to your blood sugar management. Embrace the power of this ancient spice and enjoy its myriad benefits. Chapter 3. Cinnamon More Than Just a Sweet Treat And finally, let's talk about cinnamon. This humble spice, often found in our kitchen cabinets, has a rich history and a multitude of uses that go far beyond just flavoring our favorite dishes. This fragrant spice, often associated with cozy fall desserts, is more than just a delicious addition to your latte. It's a versatile ingredient that has been cherished for centuries, not only for its delightful taste, but also for its potential health benefits. Cinnamon has actually been studied for its potential blood sugar lowering effects, and the results are pretty interesting. Researchers have found that cinnamon can play a role in managing blood sugar levels, which is particularly beneficial for people with diabetes or those at risk of developing the condition. One of the ways cinnamon works is by mimicking the effects of insulin. This means that it can help your body process sugar more effectively, which is crucial for maintaining stable blood sugar levels. It helps to improve your cell's sensitivity to insulin, allowing glucose to enter the cells more efficiently. This enhanced sensitivity can lead to better blood sugar control and reduced risk of insulin resistance. This, in turn, helps to lower blood sugar levels. By facilitating the uptake of glucose into cells, cinnamon can help prevent the dangerous spikes and crashes in blood sugar that can lead to serious health issues over time. But cinnamon doesn't stop there. Its benefits extend beyond just blood sugar management. It also has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties which can be beneficial for overall health, especially if you're managing a condition like diabetes. Antioxidants help combat oxidative stress, which can damage cells and contribute to chronic diseases. Now, when it comes to dosage, a common recommendation is around 1 to 6 grams of cinnamon per day. This amount can easily be incorporated into your daily diet without much effort. You can easily incorporate this into your diet by adding it to your oatmeal, yogurt, smoothies, or even sprinkling it on your coffee. These simple additions can make a big difference in your overall health and well-being. It's a delicious and easy way to potentially boost your blood sugar control. Plus, it adds a warm, comforting flavor to your favorite foods and beverages. However, it's important to note that there are different types of cinnamon out there. Not all cinnamon is created equal, and the type you choose can have different effects on your health. The two most common types are Ceylon cinnamon and cassia cinnamon. Each type has its own unique properties and potential health benefits. Ceylon cinnamon is often considered the true cinnamon and is generally considered safer for long-term consumption. It has a milder flavor and lower levels of coumarin, a compound that can be harmful in large amounts. Cassia cinnamon, on the other hand, contains a compound called coumarin, which can be harmful to the liver in high doses. 
This type of cinnamon is more commonly found in grocery stores and has a stronger, more pungent flavor. So, when choosing your cinnamon, it's best to opt for salon cinnamon whenever possible. This will help you avoid the potential risks associated with high coumarin intake. And, as always, consult with your doctor before adding cinnamon or any other supplement to your regimen, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or are taking medications. Your healthcare provider can give you personalized advice based on your individual health needs and circumstances. Beyond its health benefits, cinnamon also has a fascinating history. It was once considered more valuable than gold and was used in ancient times as a form of currency and a gift for royalty. The spice trade routes that brought cinnamon from Asia to Europe played a significant role in shaping the world as we know it today. Its value and demand influenced exploration, trade, and even the establishment of new trade routes. Today, cinnamon is widely available and affordable, but its rich history and numerous benefits make it a spice worth appreciating. So next time you sprinkle a little cinnamon on your food, remember that you're not just adding flavor. You're also tapping into a long tradition of health and wellness. So there you have it, guys. Three natural alternatives to metformin that have shown some promising results in helping to manage blood sugar levels. Remember, these natural remedies are not a magic bullet and should not be used as a replacement for proper medical care. It's crucial to consult with your doctor before making any changes to your health regimen, especially if you're currently on medication for diabetes or any other health condition. They can help you determine the right dosage and ensure that these supplements are safe for you to take. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative videos on health and wellness. Stay healthy and informed.